Well, where do we put Ayn Rand? Well, you know, this is uh, her notion of philosophy, which is, by the way, the traditional notion that people have of philosophy, okay? Uh, she had recommendations. A guide for living. Course we take in life. How we treat other people. Okay? Those are recommendations. Those are opinions. Okay? And then she continues and defines philosophy as the science that studies existence. Well, we got a problem with science first because, uh, you know, existence, what does, assuming that's true, which is, it's not because that belongs to physics, but what does, phys what does existence have to do with a guide for living, a course we take in life, how we treat other people? What does one thing have to do with the other? How can you put the recommendations under philosophy if you define philosophy as the study of existence? And yeah, what uh, the philosophers, so-called philosophers, have done throughout the centuries is uh, say that philosophy is like a jack of all trades. It covers every base, okay? And, uh, and so they ended up with all these uh, branches, uh, subjects like politics, justice, ethics, aesthetics, epistemology, none of which have anything to do with philosophy. They all have to do with opinions, with recommendations. What is philosophy? It's the study of, well, it's the explanation of behaviors, okay? You have to explain a reason. You have to explain a purpose, okay? That's where, that's what philosophy is about, according to this site. And you don't have to agree. I'm just uh, showing that there is a difference with, with, with what Ayn Rand did and what we do here in rational science, okay?